Hi everyone, Pablo again with video 10 for our video series on weight loss and this video is titled How Should the Food Pyramid Look? So we already visited the food pyramid, we know what they told us it should look like or what it was told, uh, how we were told to eat. But this is how the food pyramid should look. This is the way it should have been from the beginning. They should have told us that we could eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of vegetables including good vegetables that have fat such as avocado and there's others that have uh, fat as well. <clears throat> they should have told us to continue eating meats and fish and everything that we've been eating for hundreds of thousands of years if not millions. Eat this is fine including the fat that's in those products. Avoid low fat meats, low fat this, anything that says low fat in any food product. If it's natural fat then avoid eating those. Get the ones that have more fat. It's good for you. So we should have eaten more meat, poultry, fish, eggs, nuts, fats, and oils. That's what we should be eating the most of. <clears throat> a very small amount of fruits, a slightly larger amount of milk, yogurt, and cheeses, particularly cheese. If you're lact uh, lactose intolerant, you can go to cheeses and the cheeses won't be as bad as uh, other dairy products. Finally, up at the very top, this is the way it should look for bread, cereals, rice, and pasta. Basically, carbs. Up here in the top, very small amount of that. Very small. As little as you can avoid, uh, as, as you can afford to do. Notice that in addition to protein, there's a very good amount of fats in the form of protein, fat, butter, olive oil, and avocado. All of this is great for you. Notice that the only sugar consumed is this very small amount right here in the fruits section. There's a little bit of fruit uh, sugar, and that's really all you need. Don't need to be getting any, any added sugars anywhere. So now let's compare the two food pyramids, how we were told to eat versus how we should eat. On the left is how we were told for decades to eat, and compare it. Look at the, the complete, complete flipped reversal opposite of what we should be eating. It's completely backwards. So. Is it any wonder that we have an epidemic of obesity and diabetes? So now in now video 11, we're going to cover why you will lose weight when you cut out carbs and sugars and how fat becomes ketones, which is the first time we're going to get into ketones and what that's all about. So video 11, we'll cover that next. Uh, if you like this video series, you want to continue uh, watching please uh, click the subscribe button, click the little bell icon, and you'll be notified of new videos. Um, so I'll see you in video 11.